debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well... Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I'm getting near the end of Mr. Morgan's story, and I had posted Do Not Seek Absolution, where he rescues Mrs. Downs from a life of, well, being a, well, a prostitute. And that was a direct result of one of the money lending and other sins missions by Mr. Strauss, Herr Strauss, and he had to collect the debt Mr. Downs owed from his wife because he had died, Mr. Downs had died, and well, Edith Downs sold their uh, ranch and whatever they had to pay the debt, and she began working as a um, social worker, and, well, these are the final missions that Mr. Hare Strauss assigns Arthur Morgan, and he finally understands the, well, the human side of it, and how maybe things could be different. So let's get on with money lending and other sins. Part six. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About, about how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <clears throat> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are, well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur, <laughs> like you. Oh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. J. John Weathers and... Arthur Londonderry are the two final people Mr. Morgan has to collect money from. And he is already sick and tired and starting to see that there are problems going on. And, well, the decisions you make during these next two collections will either raise your honor or lower your honor. And if it raises your honor, well, you will end up with do not seek absolution as a mission. Or if it has lowered your honor, you end up with, how shall I say, you can't start do not seek absolution. So let's get on with the first debtor, John J. Weathers. You come upon Mr. Weathers and his wagon is broken, but that is the least of his problems and you will soon find this out.
Say John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. This is a gunfight, and you have to fight through it to help out. And, well, like I said, things do not go very well for Mr. Weathers or even Mr. Morgan. And the decisions you make after this will raise or lower your honor level to a point where you can trigger um, do not seek absolution, if that's what you care about. If not, uh, you can play it. But either way, it affects Mr. Morgan. My darling, you can come out. Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about kindness.
You can take the silver locket or not. That is up to you. It raises or lowers your honor level. If you take the silver locket, there may be some long-term consequences. One of the things I advise you do is loot the soldiers because they're lying around and, well, they have money and some stuff you can use to get more money, sell for more money. Now, the next debt will be Arthur Londonderry, and I will split screen and move to him, and you'll find out what happens to him. I have to ride up to the mines of Ansberg and talk to the mine foreman in order to find out what happened to Arthur Londonderry. business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Well, now you got to go down into the mine and speak to the foreman. I'm just going to fast forward through the whole walk to the foreman. Arthur Londonderry. Is he here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knockin'. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey. I ain't the godforsaken money lender. If Herr Strauss had found out that Arthur Londonderry was dead, he would have transferred the debt to his widow, and Arthur would have had to have collected from her. But in this case, unlike the Edith Downs and Mr. Downs event, Arthur has a decision to make and it will raise or lower his honor level. So I'm going to fast forward through the journey to uh, Arthur Londonderry's widow. You going to pack all your stuff, Angel? I don't want to go. Uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I just wanted to say the debt canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money, and I don't. Well, well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently, like not threaten the man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Now, in this case, Arthur only had two choices, absolve the debt or absolve the debt and give her money. And either way, the debt is absolved because what happened to Edith Downs is weighing on his mind. 
And so he understands that if he takes the money from the widow, she's got nothing anyway. And as it is, she might wind up being like Edith Downs and going to Ansberg and, well, how shall I say, working as a social worker. But as of now, I'm going to cut to Herr Strauss and what happens in the end. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Either way, whether you collect the debt from J. John Weathers and absolve the debt and don't give money to Arthur Londonderry's widow, Mr. Strauss is kicked out of the camp by Arthur. And that is the end of his story with the gang. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games and, well, currently a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. But if you like them, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be notified when I post videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.